So now we're doing free code camp, legacy Python for everybody, Python dictionaries. Let's get into it. Hello and welcome to chapter nine. Hello, Python dictionaries, chapter nine. Let's uh, write that down. All right, here we are. So let's go to the bottom of the notes. Uh, we'll say chapter nine, Python Dickinson Aries. Right? Well, we don't have a spell check, so it is, it is, or it isn't. All right, so let's go. And now we're going to talk about Python dictionaries. Python dictionaries. Are okay. Did we already do the what is a collection though? I don't know. Let's do this. Let's write this down. Uh, what is a collection? What is a collection? <coughs> Pardon me. Just ate lunch, like I said. Or I guess I didn't say it in the video, but I just ate lunch. A collection is nice because we can put more than one value in it and carry them all around, carry all the values around, all the values around in one convenient package, all right? Uh, I'm not dropping this down because there's nothing over here. So we're, since there's no ex examples, we don't need to drop it. All right. So we have a bunch of, of values in a single variable. We can, let's put, we can have, we can have a bunch of very values in a single variable. <clears throat> Pardon me. All right. Now let's say, uh, give me one second. Yeah. Okay. So what are we saying here? We do this. We do this by having more than one place in the variable. What does that mean? Variable. What does that mean? Are they talking about like elements in a list and, uh, whatever's in a set and all that? I don't know. Who knows? We do this, we do this by having, whoa, 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 we have ways of finding the different places in the variable. Okay, so let's go. Are probably the thing on dictionaries. Python dictionaries are probably the thing that most programmers love the most about Python uh, because they're very powerful. They're like a little in-memory database. It's the second of our kinds of collections and uh, probably the best collection. To review what a collection is, it is a situation where we are going to have a variable like a list or a dictionary that we can put multiple <laughs> pieces of information in rather than a single piece of information. And of course, prior to collections, we would put something in. Okay, so what's not a collection? Let's type that down. I think we did, I mean, we must have already wrote, written the what is a collection down, but whatever, we'll, we did it twice. All right, so what does this say? What is not a collection? What? What is not a collection? Question. All right. Most of our variables have one value in them. When we put a new value in the variable, the old value is overwritten. We've already done this, haven't we? Yeah, we've totally done this. We did that up here somewhere. No, oh, whatever. Let's just, we'll, we'll redo it. What's it, what's it going to hurt? It's our notes, right? So we'll do it again. We'll do a dollar sign Python, right? So we're calling Python. 
We're, we're, we're opening up Python. Let's do dollar sign this time. How about that? Python. All right. Oops. And we'll do chevrons. X equals two. <clears throat> Pardon me. Then we're going to change it up and make X equal four. And then we're going to print X and it's going to give us four. Uh, print X. And then that gives us the number four. Boom. Just like we would expect. Let's go. Into X and then we put something else into X and it would be overwritten. And uh, now with lists, we can append things on to the end. True. And so if we compare lists we and totally did this. dictionaries, the list is sort of the organized version of a collection. Let's do it again. Story of two collections. All right. Uh, a story of two collections. The two collections. The two collections so far so far okay I guess we'll do that uh, list we got a list which is a linear collection of values that stay in order. Very true. That's exactly what it is. And then we've got this dictionary that we haven't covered, but here we are. Dictionary. That's how we spell it. Okay. And this is a bag of values. Each with its own, its own label. So yeah, I get what he's trying to say. So this is like a wallet and you got your dollar bills are all in order. You got whatever order you have them in, they're in that order in your wallet and they won't get out of order unless you put them out of order the the way you feel like. A dictionary is like a bag full of dollars and you just reach in and you pull out a dollar you're, or you put out a 20, you pull out a 30, a 30, a 50. Uh, <laughs> I haven't touched, look, I haven't touched cash in a long time. You pull out a 30, you pull out a, a cranky, you know, <laughs> anyway. So yeah, this one you can, it, that's like when you're like on League of Legends or anything like that. And they put stuff in a different order every time. That's because it's inside of an object and they're not like trying to be random. It's just, it's in an object. So it's going to be random. You know, it is what it is. Uh, so let's watch. It. Everything stays in order. You add something, it always adds to the end. You take something, it sort of compacts itself. It's zero through the n minus one, where n is the number of items. And so it's very organized, kind of like a Pringles, where the potato chips are nicely stacked. Um, dollars in your pocket. Dictionaries are messier. Um, you can put things into dictionaries. There's no real sense of order in dictionaries. Everything has a key, so you sort of throw things in and they kind of mix around in there somehow, and you pull things out based on the key. It's like you you sort of stick a label on it, um, you know, or you say, okay, I'm gonna take uh, this thing and I'm gonna put Chuck on it, and I'm gonna take uh, these sunglasses with the Chuck label and I'm gonna throw it into the dictionary and I'm like, hey, give me back Chuck. I'm like, oh, here's your sunglasses because you mark everything. This is like the key. This is the value. I took a pair of sunglasses true. and I threw it in. Very so true. Kind of like a purse. Very true. Or it's a, a sort of like a mess. Or a and so the bag. idea is, is you have these labels that you put on everything that you're gonna throw in. Like I'm gonna put, hope it won't stick to my keys. You know what else do I got here? Is bro but, driving a Toyota? Oh, he is. You know how I know? I'm driving one, too. He's probably driving the same kind of... Because this is what my fob looks like, too. Stick to my keys. You know what else do I got here? I'm going to stick a label on my pen. A Chuck label. And I'm going to store a pen in my dictionary with a Chuck label. And so it's like having a, a purse or a bag or a backpack where you have things labeled and you can a bag 
you, you can have throw things in and label them, and person. you can shout into your bag and say, give me the calculator or give me the candy or whatever it is that you have labeled them. You have to come up with the labels, and then you can use the labels to get things back sure. out. And like All right, let's uh, write this down. <clears throat> All right. So, what does it say? Dictionaries. Dictionaries are dictionaries. Okay. Diction. There's going to be. We're going to be using that a lot. Aries. Let's take this word, copy it, and use it more. Uh, are Python's most powerful data collection. It's, it's over nine thousand. Whatever. Whatever. Reddit said back in the 90s. Uh, dictionaries allow us to do fast uh, database like operations in Python. True. Ish. I guess we'll see. I don't know what he's talking about there. Uh, dictionaries have different names in different different languages. All right, so dictionaries here sets in, uh, not sets, objects in JavaScript, but you know. Oh, he's going to tell us. So uh, it's called associative, associative -tive arrays in Perl and PHP. Okay, what else do we call them? properties or map or hash map in Java. You're going to skip over it. You're going to not talk about JavaScript. Pretty important language there. Property bag. Whoa. Is going to be what they call them in C sharp or the dot net framework, which I don't know. And then let's add our own because we're cool like that. Uh, objects in JavaScript. There we go. Perfect. Uh, let's go. Said they're probably the most powerful thing, and and they're basically this concept that's generally referred to as associative arrays, which means they're like lists, but they have these keys, and so the associative means the association between a key and a value. Um, whereas in a list, there's a position in a value. And the position is less powerful and less flexible. Um, most modern programming languages have this notion of associative arrays. If they don't, they're sort of unpopular because uh, once you get using them, you're, you're like, whoa, they're so powerful. If you ever find yourself in a language that doesn't have them, um, you'll, you'll freak out. They get have different names like property maps or hash maps or property bags, depending on the language you're using. But they all are the same thing. They're key value pairs. Hosh maps. So the idea All right, let's write this down. Uh, we're still in dictionary, so we'll just add to... We have a dictionary. Whoa, 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 calm down. Uh, list index. Okay, let's do that. Mm, where are we? Boom. So here we are. Uh, we'll say right here on this next line. Uh, lists. Lists. Let's go on another line but still in the same section. Lists index their entries based on the position in the list. Okay. Uh, dictionaries are like bags. No order. There's no, there's no order to the contents. Uh, what? We index the things we put in the dictionary. Oh, that's not it. A dictionary with a oh lookup tag. Look up tag. Okay. So let's see what we're talking about. Okay, let's do it like this. 
Let's start with the purse. The bag. No, we're not doing purse, bro. I don't carry a purse. Bag equals dick. T is that how we make it? Okay, so that's like the constructor, it seems. All right. So there's the constructor. Uh, we're going to say, oh, we're going to bring this down. And we'll say bag at money. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bag at money equals 12. All right. So now we've got a bag with money in it with the money tag that equals 12. All right. Let's copy that. Drop it down. Now we've got a bag with candy in it. Uh, with a uh, uh, phone in it and we'll put one because whatever money phone and then we'll have we'll have bag and then we'll have uh, what else do you want to put in there let's put in there uh, paper paper Money, phone, paper equals, uh, let's put seven papers in there. All right. So we've got that. And then if we print, control V, if we print uh, bag, bag, okay, what we will get out of that is this thing all right so let's go back up one if we print bag we will get this we could get anything honestly we'll get money money uh 12 we'll also get we could get paper paper and that's going to be, how many do we have on paper? Seven? Hey, what's going on? Hey, you're welcome. You're welcome. I'm glad you, uh, I'm glad you, uh, what was the word? I'm glad you got some use out of these videos. Uh, we're, I'm recording right now, so let me get back to it. Uh, what are we doing? So we've got paper here is seven. And then we've also got a uh, phone in here phone in here which is one okay so even though we put them in the dictionary in this order it can come out any order the, the phone could be first it could be in the exact same order we did it but it's going to be a random order it doesn't it, whenever we print it out like that all right uh with a lookup tag so we index things with a lookup tag so that's what this next line is about we're going to do uh, print, and then we'll print bag with, what did they say candy was, two, with phone in it. And this is going to be a string. we got to make sure to put a string in there. Print bag with a string phone, and what will come out would be one, because there's only one phone in there. Well, because that's what we said phone was, actually. Uh, we could also print out, we could also say, um, what is this? We could also say, print, wait, pardon me. We could say bag at, at phone now equals, uh, bag at phone plus two and then we'll say plus two and when we print out bag again or print out bag at phone so pardon me when we print out the bag print the bag all right what we're going to get out of that is another thing like this Okay, but it's going to be in a different order this time because what's the chances of it 
happening exactly the same twice in a row. Very little, very low. So we would have something like phone first and then money and then paper. But the phone, because we added two to it, would actually be three. Okay, and then it would look like this. In a different order, it doesn't, because it, it doesn't care what order it's in, right? So this is gonna be in a different order than this. It's gonna be the same thing, but we added two to the phone, which used to be one, and now, so there we go, boom. Uh, just like on here, we add two to the candy, which used to be three, and now it's five. A, uh, and that's it. So let's li watch him talk about it. Is that, or the idea of any collection is putting more than one thing in, and then the difference is, is that you have ways of, of, of indexing it. So this basically line says, let's make ourselves a dictionary, just like we constructed an empty list. And I want to store 12 into this dictionary, and I want to label it money. And so on the left-hand side, when we use this money, that's the label that we're going to give it. And so 12 is being placed in the dictionary. That's like taking the 12, throwing it in the dictionary with a label of money. I can't, yeah. Three is hmm. going in with a label of candy, and 75 is going in with tissues. And we say, what's in there? And there's no order to it. And sometimes it, the order can even change inside of a dictionary. Not can, but Although definitely will. there are more will. advanced versions of dictionaries that maintain some kind of order. But for now, let's just not worry about the ordering of them. Yeah, I don't um, know what he's talking about. If there. we say, what's in there? You say, oh, there's three things in there. There is 12, 75, and 3, and stored under the keys money, tissues, and candy, respectively. True. We can ask, using the index operator, what is per sub candy? That's like saying, hey, give me back candy, and out comes... Um, uh, the number three, which is at. We can update stuff. So we can say, like, go grab the candy version, add two to it, make five, and then store that back into candy. And so now we see that candy has been up to, set up to be five. True. And, um, <clears throat> and so, if you look at the different... Ooh, give me a second. Oh, my goodness. That looks like a bunch to print, to type. All right, so let's type this out. This is going to be a pain. Uh, let's do it. Comparing lists and dictionaries. Whew. Comparing lists and dictionaries. Okay. Let's see. Did I no. <laughs> uh, dictionaries. That's one of those words that I'm going to always have trouble spelling for a while. Uh, dictionaries are like lists, except that they use keys instead of numbers to look up values. Very true. Very true. Oh, what is this garbage, though? All right. So we're just going to we're just, we'll just do this. All right. Uh, once first equals list all right so that's a list constructor all right let's take this while we're at it so we can uh do this a little bit more simply so first let's say first dot append dot append all right we're going to put 21 in the list okay uh and then we're going to do it again let's back it up let's actually take this since it's going to be just like the next one we're going to append 183 to it all right, so we just added two values to it. So when we print the list right here, print, print first. Is that an LST or, God, I hate that. All right, print X list, example list. That's why I hate this. I hate that naming convention of not completing sentences. Cause that looks like first, doesn't it? Until like you say, hold on a second. All right. So print uh, example list. Print example list. And when we do that, what it's going to print out is this list with 21 and 183 in it. Because that's, that's what we added to it. You know, it's just like. You know, it's just like uh, it's just like an array. All right, so let's come over here and we'll say actually let's drop it like this. What are we doing here? First equals zero. So let's get example list here. 
example list at pardon me, at zero now equals 23, all right? So we just changed this one from 21 to 23, all right? So when we print it out again, I think that's what we're gonna do, okay? So we'll print, uh, let's do it again right here. Copy that, drop it off. We're gonna print it again and what we'll get is 23. What we'll get is this. There we go, except for it's gonna be three. Okay, perfect, great, fan fantastic. Now it's gonna get a little harder on the formatting, but no big deal. So this is how the dictionary works. Uh, let's say, instead of example list, let's say example dictionary. Dictionary, okay? What that's gonna equal is we're gonna do the dictionary uh, constructor, all right? We'll come down here. Oh yeah, we gotta have these two. Okay, so we got that. And what we're gonna do now, let's take this. Maybe it'll be a little easier on this. All right, let's do example dictionary at age is now going to be 21, okay? We'll do it again. Example dictionary at course is going to equal 182. So it's just like the other one, the same numbers as the other one, okay? So when we print uh, example dictionary, so let's say print for the end example dictionary, what we're going to get out of that is going to be uh, this dictionary that says course 182, course colon is 182. So dictionary at course is 182. And then dictionary at uh, age is going to be 21. All right. And I think that's how you read it. You'd say like whatever the dictionary is with the key. So dictionary at course or whatever. But we'll see what he does. All right. So we got that. So let's come down to this one and let's say uh, example dictionary at age is now is now 23, right? Just like the last one when we did uh, first at zero, all right? So we've got this and then we'll come over here and print this so let's just grab this we do that boom and what we're going to get out of this one is the and what you can tell it's a, a dictionary with the curly because it's got curly braces just like on uh, javascript we could tell that it's a an object because of the curly braces all right so course is now 182 as it was but age got changed because we changed it just like we changed it over on the uh, list all right, so let's say age is now uh, 23, all right? Boom. So that's how that works. I mean, it's not that diff not that much different than JavaScript, but, you know, the names are different and whatever. So it's good to get into this. Uh, let's call this lists. Let's drop this whole thing down. Let's, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. All right, let's call this lists. And let's call this dictionaries. All right. Let's also back them up one. Let's go over to the home. And there we go. All right. So that looks fantastic. Let's listen to him talk about it. The difference between lists list and dictionaries, they both can have new items added to them. Um, we haven't talked a lot about deleting, but items can be deleted from them. Mm -hmm. uh, the difference is, is the indexing mechanism, how we look things up, how we store yes. things, and how we look things up. So we make an empty list, we make an empty dictionary. We add 21 to the end, and we add 183 to the end, and we ask it and it says, oh, position 0 is 21, and position 1 is 183. Do we don't see the positions when we print it out because it's sort of implicit. Here sure. we're going to in, in mark 21 with age and stick it in, and mark 182 with course and stick it in, and then we're going to print it out. So you can see we use a, we have to use a method to add to a list, right, of course. But on this one, we just create it. This creates the property or, or the key value pair right then and there. We don't have to use a, uh, what is it called? 
uh, I just literally just said the word method. Anyway, so we don't have to use a method for this one, but that is the method, blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's go. Out and there we got course and age mapped. And we can add uh, a 23 and stick it back in age, and that overwrites. So the 21 becomes the 23. We can do the same thing in a list, except we say lists of zero, because in lists, the indexing is position, and so this 21 yep. becomes 23. And again, you just look. Oh, the phone. What is this garbage? Uh, okay, so this is what we just writ, wrote down, and let's look at it. So list key value 021. Yeah, that's the z key. Oh. So the index is like the key, and the value is still the value regardless. All right, cool. Let's go. Look at them, and you can think of each of these as pretty much doing roughly the same thing, except the indexing mechanism. The values are the same, but the keys are, the, are, are, are different. So in list, the keys are always the position, and you don't get to assign those, other than the fact that the order in which you put them in implicitly assigns a position. And in dictionaries, the, the key is a string. You can actually use other things. Uh, I use strings a lot in this lecture, but that just to kind of keep things simple until you get good at it. Um, you can actually use numbers as the dictionary index, the dictionary keys if you want. But the values are things you put in and manage in those dictionaries. So we can, True. just like right, lists, let's we have... look at this. All right, so dictionary literals or constants. Let's write that down. Where are you? Right here? All right. So we've got dictionary... Literals, what's the next one? Literals, and what is it called? Constants. And we'll put in here, constants. Okay. Let's see what we got here. So, dictionary literals use curly braces and have a list of, sorry for blinding you. Give me a second. All right. There we go. All right. So let's do this. So dictionary literals use curly braces and have a list of key value pairs. All right. Let's put this in quotes because we don't have different colors at our disposal. All right. So a list of key value pairs. All right. What else do we got? We can make an empty dictionary using empty curly braces. Okay, very true, I would imagine. All right, so let's do the example here. Uh, JJJ, let's say example dictionary. Let's call it example dictionary yet again. We don't need to get cute with dumb names. All right, example dictionary now equals, uh, we'll say, uh, who, who's, where are the friends we were using? Joey? Joe? Oh, yeah, let's make it lowercase because it's a uh, key. So we'll say Joey is one. We also have Chandler. Chandler is one and we'll say uh, Ross is let's say let's give them like ages I think I'm pretty sure they're in their they're all in their 50s now Chandler is uh, in a because he uh, rests rests in peace these days so we'll put rip right there and Joey, let's say he's probably a little bit younger than Ross. He's probably 51. Let's say 51. All right, cool. Uh, so there's that. Let's capitalize rip. No, nah, well, it's not. All right. So there's that. And now we're going to print. Whoa. Let's call it friends. All right. So let's print friends. Print. Friends. Friends. Okay. 
And when we do that, it's going to come out in any order that it feels like putting it in. So, like, let's say you put Chandler at the front. All right, that's the point of this. Uh, let's get Chandler with Rip and the space. And let's cut it and drop it off here. And hey, that worked. Perfect. All right. So, yeah, it puts it in any order that it feels like in, in this case case it put Chandler in the front right so now let's do that's not it that's not it that's not it let's do uh others equals an empty uh dictionary all right and when we say print others print others It'll just come out as an empty dictionary, just like it, if it was a list, it would come out as an empty list. So it's just like that real easy stuff. Let's go. Dictionary literals. And what's nice about dictionary literals is that they use the exact same syntax as the printout. And so it starts with a curly brace, ends with a curly brace, and then has a series of key colon value, key colon value, key colon value. And this is sort of the associative array bit. We are associating one with the key Chuck. We are associating 42 with the key Fred. We're associating Jan and 100. Then we print it out, it kind of looks exactly the same. And so the print statements in Python are, are nice in that you ask what's in a thing, you show the stuff, and it shows you in the syntax that if you type that into Python, that would be how you do a, um, a constant. And if you just say uh, empty array, you see, uh, you see me also do D-I-C-T. Uh, this is constructor where you say make a new empty dictionary. This is an empty dictionary constant. These two things are pretty much the exact same thing. This is a shortcut yep. to doing this. The 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 cur empty curly braces is a shortcut to do the. Um, All right. Yeah, we get it. But I'm going to type that down anyway. Uh, let's do an arrow. Let's say same as putting, what is the same? Dict like that. Same as putting using. Let's put using. Using. All right. This is the same. All right. Boom. Great. Let's go. Okay, most common name. What is this? Is this a, an algorithm we're making or is this something different? So most common name question mark? Let's see what we're doing. <coughs> Construction. So up next we're going to talk about sort of one of the really common applications of dictionaries and that is counting. Ah, so that had nothing to do with anything. Let's go over to our notes and let's get rid of that. And maybe we'll print that out on the next one. All right. So that's that. Uh, let's do our little exercise here. Hmm, pardon me. What is dictionary equal after running this code? So we've got it looking like this. Thursday is going to be turned in, in, into 13. So we got to look for Thursday at 13. Not this one. Not this one. Thursday 13. Thursday 13. Okay. Uh, Saturday Sunday and we're also adding Sunday. So it's definitely going to be this one, but let's go through it just in case. So Thursday's 13, Thursday 13, Saturday's two, Saturday's two, Sunday's nine, Sunday's nine. And we also have Friday, which never changed. So we've got four things in there. Let's boink, check that one, check the answer. Looks good and submit it. 39%. Jeez, this is taking so long. All right. So now we're on to dictionaries, common applications, and we'll see you next time.